Hello friends, welcome back. So if you go into the meta now, so we have a type. So what type of a uh, meta key is there? Whether it's string, boolean, integer, number, array, or object. Currently, we our our actors meta key has a is a have a array of values. Okay. So we have passed type array. Okay. And then uh, there are description. If you want to provide a description of the data to attach to this key, so that's why I have added the description here okay um then if you go to here single whether the meta key has one value for per object or n of values for per object so here uh if you if you have multiple uh, meta keys for a single movie post actors like there are multiple uh meta keys of the same with the same name then in that case you can pass the single false so that it will add it will fetch all the actors meta key from the same uh, movie post and then it will be displayed but currently we only have a single uh, meta key inform uh, meta key available so we'll pass it uh, through to single okay um, and then at uh, the default value okay so default value so if that actors meta key is not uh, available uh, or stored into the meta table then what which default value we want to uh, pass so here our type is added so i have passed um the default add, empty array okay um then if you go here to, then uh, we have sanitization callback so this method will use to sanitize the meta key data okay so this callback function will be called when uh the we we are updating the this actors meta information through the rest api okay so we will see how it's working later on or maybe in next video okay and then we have auth callback whether uh that when the post meta or the movie post updated and we if we are updating the uh, meta info actors meta information as well then it will check whether that user to have access uh like have a capability or have access to edit or uh, edit update or delete a post meta that all art callback function we have to pass and so in rest whether you want to show this register meta in the rest api response or not so we have to pass it through if you want to show uh, in the uh, in the rest api response but it will be an array to for the schema okay so here you can see the array with schema or prepare callback keys instead of the boolean okay so here what we have did is uh, here we have passed sanitization callback or to callback and then show in rest and i have provide in the array format the schema okay so in the schema our uh, our actors uh, actors meta key has an array of values so i have provided an array and uh, and in that array we have items of type integer because we are storing the person post id okay into the array so that's why i provided under the items the type is integer okay so um, and also about sanitization callback and alt callback so how we define identify that what are the arguments have been passed here so if you go to the meta and if you go to the register meta uh, into the uh, into the code base a uh, little bit back okay so here you can see alt callback okay first was the sanitization callback so let's go through the sanitization if the sanitization callback provided okay we have used inline function okay so it it's adding a filter and if object subtype is not empty which like our uh, custom post type okay if it's not empty then it's adding the filter sanitization underscore then our object type which is our post which is a main object type then underscore meta underscore meta key and for object subtype okay and the our sanitization callback hooked to that filter okay so how we can identify this filter so i can simply go uh, got this uh, just keep this one go to the search and you can see the apply filters okay so uh, yeah so this filter have been applied from the sanitized meta so whenever we fetch the data uh, from uh, like whenever we use get post meta uh, the sanitized meta function will be execute okay and this function will apply the filter okay where if it's not a so like uh, if the subtype which is our custom post type is not empty and if it has a filter since like when we register a meta it will register that filter okay so it will apply this filter and from this filter you can see what uh, uh, this filter uh, passed arguments and same arguments i have passed it here meta value meta key object type and object subtype 
So here meta value should be written because it's uh, first value which will be written and three other arguments uh, provided for our uh, purpose. So if you want to use that, we can use. So um, in the REST API, uh, in our register meta, I have just checked whether the meta value is added. If it's added, then I am sanitizing using the absolute integer, okay? Uh, just to make sure that uh, meta value should be, uh, it's added and I'm going through the each and every array items and then passing pass through that array item value to the absolute integer function okay and if it's not added then i, be, I am simply returning the uh, empty array because uh, as per our implementation approach actors meta key should have an array of values okay so similarly uh, this way you can identify about the sanitization uh, or like what are the um, like arguments needs to be passed to that function okay and similarly if we go through the register meta so i'm just clicking again here and go through the auto callback here auto callback okay and you can see if it's again object subtype is not empty then this filter will be executed and here in the sanitization callback as well if sub if we are this registering the meta for all the post types then this um, filter will be executed instead without this word so you can similarly you can search for this uh, uh, filter and then you can uh, register sanitization callback function okay and you will identify you will you will find what are the arguments passed to that callback function okay and similarly for auto callback if it's not empty then it's simply auth underscore object type which is our post meta meta key and the object subtype so i'm i will simply search with this one okay and uh, apply the filter so uh, if you see apply uh, filters i think this one uh if yeah object subtype is not empty and this is under the map meta cap okay so in our roles and capabilities video we have go we have learned about map meta cap and here you can see the various meta informations right edit post meta and everything so if any of this capability checked for uh when we update uh meta information through the rest api then this uh call the map meta cap function will be executed when we check with using the current user can function okay so here you can see if it's empty if it's not empty the sub object subtype and if it has a filter then this apply filter will be executed and here you can see what are the uh, arguments are passed to the callback function the same arguments we have used uh, here so a load meta key object id which is our post id user id means current user id cap and the caps okay and i'm just simply checking current user can whether edit movies or not okay and object id i'm passing so edit movies i have used like in the rules and capabilities we have registered added a custom capabilities for our movies post type right so i'm just checking the if user do have x uh, edit access of the movies then it then they also can update the uh, post meta information okay so i'm just passing the edit movies and if it's true then it will allow if it's false then it won't allow okay so yeah this way you can identify what other callback function requires uh, arguments and all other things okay and then few other things you can go through and check it here also if it's a protected meta uh, protected meta so if you don't know about protected meta means uh, protected meta if it start with underscore okay so if any meta key uh, start with underscore then it won't be uh, displayed into the rest api response okay because it's a hidden or considered as a protected meta okay so for that you have to provide some uh, call uh, authentication or something so if it's protected then it will simply return false okay because by default it won't be allowed okay so if you want to then if you go to the is protected meta then they will simply check whether it start with underscore or not okay so that is another and we can we can also have a filter just to if you if you want to uh also make a protected some other meta keys which is not do not start with underscore just in case if you want to use it that okay so yeah uh, so if you now go to the over here and refresh it again now you can see the meta in an actors and this actors id like the person post id assigned to that movie okay so similarly you can go through here other meta information saved and for other meta information okay so now we uh, have successfully registered the meta okay but now here you can also see the links right so here in the links you can find so for example for the genre taxonomy uh, we have assigned three terms okay to that movie and 
for that in under the links uh, we uh, the wordpress adding the term taxonomy term which is a genre and from that we can also get the list of the uh, all the list of the genre terms assigned to that movie okay so similarly how we can add uh, the this uh, because since the this these are the ids of the person post types right and we have uh, we have the rest api route for the person post types as well right so instead of uh, uh, so if uh, in the front end we are displaying this list of actors and if you need uh, the actor name there a single pro single actor page or single person post page right and some of the information like excerpt if it's needed and again in the javascript uh, the as a developer we have to uh, construct this entire rest api route pass this uh, endpoint and then they will uh, we can fetch all the information from there yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one Jai Varpres.